Hey guys, it's Megan. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made these DIY paper squishies. And I've had a few requests from some of you guys to make some paper squishies, so I thought that I would try it out. These squishies were super fun to make, and they use materials that you probably already have at your house. And they don't require memory foam or puppy paint, so, so this is a super good alternative if you don't have those materials and you don't feel like going out and buying them. And I think that these came out super cute. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. So first you'll want to sketch out the design of your squishy and I decided to do a piece of kawaii toast. So I just drew that out with some colored pencils but you can use any drawing material that you like. And I drew this on a piece of normal computer paper. And I wanted this to be a piece of toast with jelly on it. So I took a purple colored pencil and I just drew a squiggly line. And then I colored that all in and then I colored the out like toast part with a light brown color and I used a white gel pen to add highlights in the eyes. Next I folded the piece of paper so that the bottom part of the toast was on the fold and then I cut that out. And when you unfold the piece of paper you should have something that looks like this. So I went ahead and I drew on the back part of the toast. You don't have to do this but I just did it because I thought it would make it look nicer. Next, I'm taking some clear tape and I'm putting it over the paper. And this is so that when we squish our squishy, the paper won't crinkle or rip. And next, just cut off any excess tape that is left around the edges. Next, I'm taking this piece and I'm folding it in half. And then I'm taping up the edges so that we get sort of a pocket. And make sure to leave a little part of it open so that you can put whatever you're stuffing your squishy with. So one thing I've seen people stuff paper squishies with is plastic bags. And I wanted to try this method because I knew that this is the most easily accessible thing to kids that they would probably already have in their house. So what you're going to want to do is just cut up your plastic bag into small pieces and then stuff that into your squishy. And once the squishy is full of the plastic bag pieces, you can just seal it off with some more tape. And so here is how the plastic bag squishy came out. And as you can see, you can press down on it and it kind of is like a squishy, but not really. And I knew that I could do better. So I decided to try it using some different materials. The next method I tried to stuff my paper squishy with was some pillow stuffing. And you can get this in really big bags for like $3 at Walmart. So it's not very expensive. And I followed the same steps as before, I just used pillow stuffing this time instead of plastic bags. And this method definitely worked out way better than the plastic bag method. It's still not super slow rising, but it definitely works if it's all you have at home. And the last thing that I have seen people stuff paper squishies with is foam. So I just took some scraps of memory foam and I decided to tape them together just because I thought that this would make it more slow rising since it is such a thin piece of memory foam. And so I just went ahead and put tape all over the piece of memory foam. And then I took the piece of bread that I drew on a piece of paper and I drew a back piece as well. And this time I did it in two separate pieces. I covered both pieces of paper with tape just like we did before. And then I took all three pieces and turned them into sort of a sandwich. So I took the back piece and then I put the foam on top of that. And then I put the top piece on the top. And then I just used tape to tape around all of the edges. So here is the finished foam squishy. And this would be a good way to use up little scraps of memory foam that you might have after you're done making bigger squishies. And this one definitely worked the best out of all three of them. So here are the three paper squishies that I made. The grape jelly one is filled with pieces of a plastic bag. And the peanut butter one is filled with pillow stuffing. And the buttered toast is filled with memory foam. Starting out with this one, which is the plastic bag one. It's really not that squishy, but like it works. This squishy, it's good because it's something that like probably everybody would have at their house but as you can see it is not really the best squishy and it is not the most slow rising and now on to the peanut butter toast so this one has pillow stuffing in it and this one feels a lot nicer than the one with the plastic bags in it and you can get a huge bag of pillow stuffing for like three dollars at walmart and so this one is definitely way better than the plastic bag one. 
And lastly, I wanted to see if I could make one using memory foam. And this one makes that squeaking sound as well. And as you can see, this one is obviously the most slow rising. So overall, I think that paper squishies are a really fun project, especially if you don't have memory foam or puffy paint, you can make these without either. So let me know in the comments down below which squishy was your favorite, and let me know if you try this project or if you've ever made paper squishies before. And also, if there's anything else that you like to fill paper squishies with, let me know that in the comments down below too. And yeah, so thank you guys so, so much for watching, and if you're not already and you'd like to be, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one, and as always, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and make sure to follow me on Instagram, Musical.ly, Tumblr, and you now, they are all Weller Mags. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!